You would have been two years old when the big bombings happened, some of the big bombings happened in Ireland, right? I was actually born, there was two bombings in Dublin, yeah. and I, one was on December 1st, yeah. I was born two weeks later, and the other one was January 1st, so I was born in between these two bombings that took place, um, like, yards away from the hospital I was born in. So your development, man, your early years, were, I'm sure were heavily influenced by the troubles that were going on there. It's weird because I don't remember it, but, and I didn't even know that I was born in this weird window um, until I read a book, like, a year ago. And it mentioned the dates, and I was like, wow, I was born there. And I thought about my mother and her going into, you know, the hospital where there had been two weeks before there had been a bomb, literally around the corner. Mm -hmm. um, but, I, you know, as a kid, I, it, we, were, we were kind of removed from the troubles, right. being in the South. It was something that... Yeah, you know, there was a friend of mine, his mother died. It, there was, there was, but it was, it was very insignificant in a sense. It was, Belfast was almost as far away as Beirut. Mm -hmm. It's incredible how, when you're a child, how you just, you live your life. Yeah. Regardless. Did, yeah. You mentioned your mother. You were 21 when she passed away? Uh, yeah. And it was sudden, right? Yeah, yeah. The, and you had two younger siblings. Mm. Just, I mean, for a lot of, when you go through all the stuff that you have to go through in your later years of life, I mean, you've kind of lived hard early. Was it a, like, how did you, how were you coping with that when it first happened? Um, that was tough because I kind of had to, <clears throat> like, I was the person who held up the family. Um, yeah, it was tough. It was, it wasn't, it was tough for me, but it was more my younger brother and sister. That was really hard. And uh, to be honest with you, it's been hard. It kind of broke our family a bit for ever since, you know. Has there efforts been made by, by you or other members to try to? Yes, yeah, but you know. Sometimes there's one person in the family that keeps it together. Yeah. And when they're not there, you know, it just, they're not there. You, you know, you, you've gone to build your own career. Your father had a hell of a career. And a lot of times people won't hear about the mother so much. What's the one thing about your mother that you can just really remember about her? Just vivacious. I mean, really incredible smile. You know, really uh, somebody who everybody loved. You know, she just lit up a room.